Hey everybody, I have something cool to show you. This is the new Relay expansion board that's available for use with the Centroid Acorn. And what this is going to let you do is it's going to allow the user to get six relays up and running in under a minute. So literally, all you have to do is take this board, this ribbon cable, go from the board to this little adapter card right here. This thing fits down in this header on your acorn. And then you just connect one wire to your 5 volt power supply. That is literally all you have to do to hook this thing up. The physical connections can be made in like less than a minute. It's really neat. Plug and play. And this, this little board, ribbon cable, and adapter card, going to start shipping the standard equipment and include it with the Centroid Acorn kit. So very soon when you buy a Centroid Acorn, you're also going to get this relay adapter board with it as well. If you're a legacy customer, don't worry. You'll be able to buy this uh, relay board, ribbon cable, and adapter card as a, a standalone purchase off the Centroid website. So that's kind of cool. They're taking care of the old customers. This board is going to work with all versions of the CNC12 software. So whether you have the free version, the pro version, or the digitizing bundle, you will be able to use this board with it. Now, if you've been watching the lights flashing, you'll notice that, uh, right, there's kind of a pattern to it. So you got two on, two on, one on, one on, one, one, right? So what's going on there? Well, you notice there's eight relays on this card, but they're only associated with six outputs on the acorn board. So what, what do you do when you have eight relays, but you only have six outputs? Well, you double them up. That's what they did. So acorn outputs number seven and eight actually trigger two relays. So for instance, acorn output number seven triggers relays seven and two. And acorn output number eight triggers relays one and eight. Uh, so this can be handy. So when would this be handy? Well, let's just say that you need to turn two things on that run at separate, you know, different voltages, but you want to turn them on at the same time. So good example of this would be like a spindle and maybe a cooling fan or a spindle cooling pump. You know, if you're running a CNC router, you may have a water-cooled spindle. Uh, instead of using two outputs, you can do all this now with a single output because... Uh, you have dual relays associated with uh, two of these outputs. So you could, um, you know, control your, your uh, spindle and your cooling fan, you know, together. So that's kind of a cool feature. There can be some benefit to that. Um, so maybe a little confusing if you don't understand what's going on there. But once you see the lights flashing, you can see it's pretty simple. Uh, something else. Make sure when you're hooking this up that you do not uh, twist your ribbon cable. Uh, this is a single straight connection. It's clearly marked. But, you know, it is possible to force that cable on the wrong way if you, if you really want to. So don't do that. Uh, straight, straight through connection. If you do that, everything will work just fine. I like the LEDs. I like, uh, I like it when you have indicator lights that you can look at to uh, physically check the, the status of your outputs. So that's a nice feature. And as far as defining this thing, you do it right from the wizard. You just go to your, uh, your setup wizard, define your outputs, and uh, off you go. So once you've done that, you know, you can control these things through your programs using encodes, and you can also control the outputs with your uh, virtual, virtual control panel. You can actually see this as I'm running this program. You can see the uh, M codes flashing on the screen, and you can also see some of the indicator lights switching on my virtual control panel. Thanks for watching. I hope this was uh, at least uh, interesting, and now you have something uh, 
new you can go check out from Centroid and you know I'm sure this will help make it easier for you to wire up your, your control cabinets. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a good day.